Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. Hope you're well. Thanks for dropping in. If you haven't checked out the videos I put up Monday for a new incoming love, a new love prospects, check those out. There may be additional messages there for those of you singles. Ooh, there, that wants to come out. Yeah, so that may be the message. I can't remember the Pisces readings, but... <laughs> There you go, Pisces. What is going on in your love life? Clear messages for Pisces. Clear messages for Pisces regarding their love life. Anything else you need to know to do with finances and career? I think a lot of you are just focused on love right now. The money's there. I feel, yeah, you've got a new offer coming in. You're a little guarded. You have your wall up. Take your wall down. I feel like there's someone who doesn't want to give up. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you've got somebody headed in your direction here for a new offer. You want love, but I feel as though you're a bit guarded, a bit defensive about sharing your feelings. You're not so sure because you want reciprocation. You want to be emotionally fulfilled, Pisces. Yes, you have an offer, though. I see it. It's a see it to believe it is what just popped into my head. Yeah, you've got a new person. You have, could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, there is a new beautiful offer coming. Somebody is reaching out. Yeah, you're not so sure if you want to reciprocate your feelings though. Yeah, you're a bit guarded. you got walls up. Take your guard down. Take your guard down. Just give them a little. Don't give them all of yourself. Make sure, you know, until you're fulfilled, they reciprocate. You've had a tough time in love, so you're not so you know, easily convinced, <laughs> right? You have this strong urge to nurture and love someone, but you know not to. Just give a little. Don't give all of yourself. Someone's reaching out to you. You may not be sure how you feel. You may not give a lot at first, okay, until you're sure they're going to reciprocate. Spirit's telling you that. Yes, there is something new. Yeah, you've got someone here. Definitely keep yourself balanced, okay? This is going to be a little bit of a test. It's not going to be easy. Balance yourself. Balance your emotions, your feelings. Keep those balance in, or your emotions in check to take control. Try not to control this, okay? Don't go overboard. Find a balance. Don't use all the power you have to control your emotions to the point, right, where you're not reciprocating enough. Try to find balance. I think you got love here. You have an offer coming in. It could be a cancer coming towards you maybe a Sagittarius or a Leo they may have those elements in their chart Pisces one more card for Pisces there you go yeah you've got somebody soul searching everyone's getting the hermit people are coming out of hermit mode you have someone who's looking for answers they've gone within they see you as someone who's a good fit they want to approach you they know they need to balance their emotions not control things you have a new person this is someone who's gone within uh, this could be you too going into hermit mode making sure Someone reciprocates a little soul searching, getting some clarity from within yourself that you need to not control your emotions. This is going to be a test. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. Okay, be patient with yourself. Be patient with this person, making sure you both feel the same way. Yeah, it's like don't rush into it. <laughs> you haven't given up on love. All right, you haven't given up. You still want it because you're coming up as the Queen of Cups. You just, there's something here that you've may, maybe needed to learn or that you do that you're recognizing about your own emotional being, what makes you happy, what doesn't. You're reflecting on this, but you could have a Virgo, possibly, or a Sag, or a Cancer, Leo person coming in, or Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, so there is something going in your favor. Yeah, there's a new cycle. You're putting an end to offering too much of yourself, falling in love too quickly. Okay, you're going to learn to just a little bit, making sure this person feels the same. You, The person who is thinking of you possibly could be feeling the same way. <laughs> yes. They may be, it, this could be you, could be them. I think it's you though. It's telling you here to do that. You have this possibility. Make sure you get the clarity you need. Everything's illuminated before you give too much of yourself. Don't start cooking for them, inviting them for dinner, getting all emotionally invested in them until you're sure. Just be very patient. It's going to test your patience. And it's a temptation. You are going to be very tempted. Okay. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, what is the Queen of Cups about? Why is this here? Pisces, there we go. Yeah, see, yeah, see? You've got someone who 
I, you've got someone here. They could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or it's just that energy. Yeah, someone's pondering, starting something with you, coming towards you. They're wondering if things will go in their favor, if you'll reciprocate to them, right? They need a little time, possibly, too. Maybe they've gone through this knowing from their own past. I feel this person is pondering, communicating. They want success. They want things to go in their favor. Uh, they don't want to go crazy either, I feel. So I kind of feel like you've met your match. I feel like you're going to... You're both a good fit because you both are going to kind of get each other, I feel. There's definitely going to be some chemistry here. Feel as though this person is someone who maybe have gone within themselves. If they are a Virgo, they may be someone who was a little emotionally attached. Things didn't go their way in the past. They're now ready for a whole new cycle. Yeah, this is somebody who's either not going to give up on you or... You know, maybe they kind of had given up on love, but now they see you here, Pisces. Yeah, this is about emotional fulfillment. This is about both of you. Uh, you've got some similarities. You're a very good fit. You could actually balance each other out. <laughs> yes, Fairlight. This is mixing of two elements together to make something just right. This person sees you as someone who's a good fit. They see you as just right. They have something that they need to deal with, too. They maybe have been, you know, I think they're just going to communicate. I feel as though this person's ready to put their cups on the table to reach out. They may be worried you won't feel the same. So watch you find balance. It's like don't totally block off the emotions. Don't refuse to share feelings or emotions at all. Right? Find a balance. Just a little bit. Give a little. Just enough. Vice versa, yeah, be careful what you wish for. You're going to get a wish granted. You have an offer of love. I feel as you have a new person. Somebody is go going through their own thing while they uh, come towards you. And I feel things will go in your favor. This person wants to make sure things go in their favor. <laughs> They're looking at the details of the communication before they reach out to share their feelings and their emotions. Wow. Yeah, see, they see you as the sun. They see you as someone who can make them happy. They have this empress energy. Yeah, hold yourself in high regard. Just give a little. Don't give too much. Make sure they reciprocate to you. Beautiful. They get it. Whoever this is kind of gets that energy. Look at that. Yeah, they're becoming very clear. They know. They see you as this empress. They see you as everything they could want. You're their wish come true. Uh, they want to have this new beginning with you. They're taking a fresh outlook, a fresh approach as they look and how to get things going in their favor. I feel this person's been contemplating you, looking for answers. You know, they're wondering if you'll feel the same about them as they do about you. I feel they are someone who kind of has a little bit emotionally detached. They have a tendency to focus on their money. I feel as though they're going to try to balance that out. That may be their issue mostly, is they have a tendency to focus a lot on their finances. But they are focused on you, how to get things going in their favor. They see you as the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, this emotional fulfillment. Yeah, wow. They want to talk to you. They want to say all the right things. They want you, like, to, you know, feel this way about them. You know, they don't. This is someone who doesn't want to give up. So it could be someone you dated before. You may have ended things because you weren't emotionally fulfilled. Well... Whatever it is you did, it's it, it, if you moved away and ended things, um, they're coming back around. They see you as the sun. They, they, this person, I, I actually feel this is someone who may want to start a family. They see you possibly in the future as the mother of their children. I feel they want to express their feelings. They want to make things very clear. I do think they like to kind of take it a little slow. They like to be a bit cautious. Uh, but they want, they do see everything in a favorable light. I think this is going to make you very happy. Tell me about the chariot. It looks like they have cancer in their chart. Scorpio. I see Taurus and Libra energy here too. They may have some Libra in their chart or Taurus. Maybe you feel that way about them. You're holding yourself in high regard to see if they express themselves, tell you what their intentions are. That's what it is. Make sure they reciprocate. Tell you what their intentions are because I don't think you're going to budge. chariot there we go yeah so there's the truth yeah this person wants to speak a truth they could be a taurus yeah there's that taurus energy or you may have it in your chart pisces yeah i feel like this person wants to 
speak a truth. They want success. I do feel like they're ready to move forward. They want to use all the power they have to charge forward. Uh, they're going to come in fairly quickly once they get clear in their head how to talk, how to reach out. This person's thinking a lot about you. Uh, they're, you know, and they're thinking about themselves, their own part in this situation. It does, it, it looks like somebody new, but it could be someone that you didn't get emotional fulfillment or you have a history of not getting emotionally fulfilled by people because you give too much too quick. So it's, it's both of you. But yeah, I see the Hierophant. I see commitment, things being learned. I feel this person sees you as somebody faithful. I feel this person is coming in. I, I feel like there's going to be some epiphanies, some new ideas. Wow. I feel like, yeah, and there we have the Sag card. Yeah, this person's ready for success. They're going to balance things out. They want success with you. They want to move forward. I feel like they, they know they need to put more attention into their love life. If they want things to go in their favor, they need to be more emotionally connected. Uh, they're up in their head about you, strategizing what to say, how to say it. They don't want to go overboard, though. <laughs> they also want to make sure you, you feel that way. So watch how guarded you are with your wall up there, okay? Uh, sometimes when you get in the Empress energy, it's a beautiful energy, but sometimes you can... Um, Especially with that Taurus, it can be a little bit stubborn. Yeah, they want to make you an offer. This, wow, they, this person really does want to make you a solid offer. They want to plant that seed. They're thinking about you. Yeah, look at that. And it's an emotional offer. Some of you may actually have a couple people, to be honest. You could have a couple, but I feel like it's all this person. You may have a choice. You may have a lot of people giving you attention. Maybe they're trying to figure out if you have other people giving you attention. Uh, thinking about that before they come in, what their strategy, how they're going to communicate because they want things to go in their favor. I think this person's loved up. They're ready for love, ready for a family, ready for marriage, ready to express themselves, their feelings, their emotions. Um, they know that you. they need to be reliable and solid. Beautiful. Wow, you got somebody here who thinks you're pretty special. So someone who's ready for a family, ready for children, a fresh new start, ready to be clear. Yeah, this is someone who's coming around. They've kind of evolved and changed. It could be someone coming back around. Or maybe this person's, if it's someone you met that never went anywhere, or it might have been kind of on and off and you weren't being fulfilled, you moved on. They may be wondering if they come back around or they may be wondering if things are changed, if they reach out, if you've moved on. I think they're going to go with the flow. I feel like that's the energy. Just go with the flow. See where it goes. Let things evolve naturally. Don't try to control it, either one of you. I feel they have some Cancer in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio energy, maybe some Earth. All depends. Yeah, it's telling you here to have some faith in this situation. Don't try to control it. Just let it go. This person does have a tendency to use all the power they have to control their emotions, <laughs> okay? I mean, maybe it's possible they don't have faith in themselves, right? They're trying to gain that faith. But I, I feel like they, they actually do see you as marriage material. I think they want to come towards you. They want this to move forward. They're hoping for success. They're hoping to get on the same page. You both feel the same about each other. Could be someone new, and you've just both gone through some things. I see you as someone who's definitely not, Spirit's telling you, not to give too much at first until you get the clarity, till they tell you what their intentions are. And if they come in and make you an offer and tell you they love you, they want to marry you, or they want to get engaged, they want to move this forward to the next level, you'll go for it. I do think they do need to find balance, this person. Okay, they definitely need to find balance. They need to make sure they put a lot more attention into their relationships. I feel there's someone who has a tendency to focus on their money. Uh, they definitely are somebody who, wow, yeah, they want this to go right. They're planning something, a communication. I feel that they're going to let this evolve. There's some change coming in your love life. I feel like they're going to put the work into this. Some of you may be changing jobs. You may be getting a lot more success in the new year. Be patient if you're waiting for um, for new work, okay, for confirmation, clarity on a new job. I do feel you could be signing a contract that could bring you a lot of success. 
I feel like you may even relocate. This could all happen during that time. I see a whole new cycle. I see this down here, letting things evolve, putting the work in. I see you maybe moving, relocating to a new job, or just changing jobs. Whatever it is, it's possible. It's going to take a lot of work. Yeah, I see the tower. Yeah, I actually feel like you got someone coming in very quick. Uh, they want this to work. Um, you may get a, a sudden uh, job offer that may be, I don't know, if this person, if you have someone that comes towards you, you might be like, ooh, you might have a bit of a test here that you may set yourself free and relocate for a job. And this person's coming at the same time. Something's going to happen suddenly to do with work, but I feel in your love life you got someone coming around that wants to work things out. They want to put the work in. Uh, this is going to happen very suddenly. This could take off very quick, okay? Uh, very fast. Tell me about the tower. I see Scorpio energy, Aries. Could be anyone. It's a tower. It's Mars energy. This person's willing to fight for this. They're going to fight hard for this, okay? That's another thing. Uh, that that Mars energy, that's war. This person means business, okay? They know that if they come towards you, they need to do that. They need to put a lot more attention into their love life. They need to find the balance between head and heart as well. Yeah, they're making, they're logical. They want to make the right choice. I feel like they think a lot. I feel like their strategy is to reach out and just see if you feel the same, and then it'll move forward. So tell me about the tower. There we go. Ah, yeah. So there we go. So somebody here may have Aries in their chart or Scorpio. Yeah, definitely if this person comes in, you will t let them know they need to work for you. This person needs to earn you. They need to work for you if you have this energy. I also feel that because when you come up, <laughs> Pisces, when you come up as the Queen of Rods, it means you're ready. Um, you're very passionate about this person. Oh, yeah, you, I definitely feel you're ready for some passion. I feel that this person, you want them to earn you, to work for you. They need to give put attention towards you. They need to focus on you. I feel some of you are focused on career, though. You're going to have to find a balance between uh, work and your passions, your love life here. Yeah, definitely. You, I see you planning the future. You got everything you need. Uh, you definitely, if somebody does, if this person comes towards you and they don't put the work in, you will end it. You'll put your foot down. You'll let them kind of know you're quite content to stay single. So yeah, you've got a, you may have a couple people here. You may have a Scorpio coming towards you too. You may end things with the Scorpio, uh, but I really feel this is all incoming. It's moving forward here. You know what you want. You know where you're going. You're not settling. You'll let someone know you'll stay single. They have to earn you. Uh, this could be just your mindset. You could be contemplating, thinking about this. This is how you feel inside as well. The person coming towards you may see you this way, very sexy, very attractive because of this empress. You have the power here to deal with this. I don't think you have any fear. I feel like you're just not sharing feelings with anyone until they come in and, and express themselves properly. You know what you want. Now, you're going to get what you want because of it. And you're looking good. You're sexy. A lot of you are taking care of yourself. I feel some of you are going to get a little makeover, a hairdo, change your clothes, uh, some kind of style change. Uh, you may have an epiphany that you want to do that. Some of you are plan doing very well financially in the future. Uh, I definitely feel if someone doesn't put the work in, they don't fight for you, show you that what their interest is, focus on you, you'll just stay single because you got everything. So you may actually move. You may be moving forward uh, in a fine to another job, and then this person comes in, and you then it's going to make you feel like this empress energy where you're like, I don't really need anybody. I hope you don't change your mind because I feel like you got someone here who really loves you. They absolutely adore you. They want this new beginning. The sun is shining. you got someone who's becoming clear. They're not afraid to face you. Tell her their feelings. Yeah, they want to reach out. You may not be sure if you want to reach out to this person if they are someone you knew before where it was like on and off. You weren't, you know, one minute you felt you were happy with them. The next minute you're not sure. Uh, they weren't emotionally fulfilling you and it looks like you may have ended it. 
Yeah, so somebody's coming back. Someone has sweet feelings for you. Someone's reminiscing, missing you, focused on that. They want to come in. They want to talk to you. Yeah, there was some kind of ending. This person's, there was an ending here, and they're missing you. Uh, they've gone through a lot of transformation and change. I think this person's going to come back different. I think they're going to fight for you. I think this person wants you, and I think they want to know, too. They're looking to see if you're still single more than anything. They want to know if you're getting attention from other people, if you're still available. Uh, they may reach out and just say something to sort of test to see what happens. Uh, they know you're powerful, whoever they are. You're strong. You stand up for yourself. You're very passionate about your beliefs, your condition, your traditions, your behaviors, all of it. Like you're, yeah, this person definitely uh, sees you as this nine of pentacles, though. They want to know if you're single uh, with this hermit energy. Some of you have been hermiting away at home. You kind of, it's time to come out of hermit mode as well. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. There we go. Ooh, see that flip? Yeah, so way in the pros. And so when this person comes, because you've evolved, changed, maybe you've been working on yourself, you've been focusing on work. When they come towards you, it's going to be a bit of a shock. I feel you may have an epiphany that you're all of a sudden not sure if you want to stay single or actually be with this person because of everything that's happened whether it's and it could be something that's happened to you that when this new person comes in you're going to have trouble deciding you might have two people it's possible you may have a couple people reaching out you may have someone who's not reciprocating a lot uh, not sharing a lot of themselves kind of feels like you got someone who's very clear they know right their strategy is to reach out if someone comes in and they um, they reach out and they breadcrumb you, definitely you'll put your foot down because you got a choice possibly between two people, a new person. And this person may be the same person. They may be wondering if you do or don't. Yeah, they're wondering if there's, see, they're wondering if there's competition. They're also wondering if it's somebody that wasn't focused on you or emotionally attached, say there was no emotional fulfillment, or they acted like they weren't interested when they were. They may have kind of screwed up and you ended things and it's caused them to go through a change, a transformation. Yeah, I, I feel like some of you don't want to deal with anyone from the past. You're waiting for this person. I feel they're here. It's right in the middle. It's the heart of the reading is this new. It could be an old person coming back with a whole new energy, but it looks like someone new. It looks there's there's competition here. Yeah, because you're focused on the future. You're not focused on that person. You, There you are, grounded, practical, focusing on the future. You're, some of you are definitely in single mode. You're focused on your money. You don't give a hoot about this person, whoever they are. You may have a few people maybe getting a lot of attention. You're going to have to, you're going to be tempted by some of these people. Some of you, it's a bit of a test. Somebody's going to test your patience possibly here. I see you deciding whether you want to stay single or not, Pisces. You have everything you need. You're very comfortable. You're comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, you're looking at things from every angle. Uh, you're, yeah, see, you're looking at things from every angle, back and forth. Not so sure. Not so sure. This person could be a Scorpio that you ended things with and they're going through a transformation. This could be, it could be someone you met before or somebody's crushing on you. And you're ending something with one person and they come in. I see that too. Yeah, there's a transformation. I see things moving forward. I see commitment, marriage, a solid foundation. Whew. Pisces, what have you got going on? Tell me about this six of... Somebody wants success with you, though. They see you as the one. Yeah, someone definitely... You've got options, though. You have possibilities. Someone sees the possibilities that you may not be single. That's what I feel. With this person, mostly this person here, they're up in their head wondering if you'll even feel the same way, if you'll reach out, even talk to them, if you're focused on them because maybe they see there's competition, you're maybe not communicating or not talking to them anymore. Interesting enough. Yeah, you're going to look at things from every angle. I actually do feel that you do want love because I see the Queen of Cups. You're not giving up. You're just going to find a new way of doing things. Yeah, you've got something coming in very quickly here. The Tower, a big epiphany. You are ready to, I think you're ready for love. I think you're going to realize it's time to take your guard down. 
Yeah, to heal and purge and release whatever it is that's happened from the past. This could start during Aquarius season where you start to feel like this. I know a lot of people are. I'm seeing this energy in every reading because we are now in Aquarius season. This is all about releasing things that no longer serve, old relationship baggage, a lot of epiphanies. It's time to let go of something and time to move forward. And it could be the people coming towards you, releasing their old relationship baggage, having epiphanies. They see you as a star. They want this fresh new start. They want to come towards you. So it's a beautiful, yeah, you've got someone coming back possibly or somebody here who's coming towards you with the Prince of Pentacles wanting to do things right. You got someone here who acted like maybe they weren't interested in you. You weren't emotionally fulfilled. They want, they're contemplating. Someone's going to start coming towards you. Yeah, this is your King of Cups. So this could all be one person going through this energy. We have the High Priest. Yeah, someone's learned something here. This is somebody who uh, is ready for family, ready for commitment. They're having an epiphany. They see you as marriage material. They want to connect with you. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, so there's that tradition, belief, behavior, the way someone conducts themselves. They're having epiphanies. This is somebody who... Someone sees you as faithful. They see you as marriage material. They're focused on you. You not so much on them. You're all about your money, Pisces. I feel as though you're looking into the future. You will. You know what you want, though. And this is the thing. When you come up with the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Wands, that's where you know you take a stand, right? You draw that line in the sand. It's like, come to me, right? Show me that you mean business or I'll just stay single. Because you have people uh, and you know, like you see the possibilities, uh, keeping your options open. I feel you're very, there's a lot of options, a lot of success when it comes to money. I see you being able to pick and choose uh, career options, jobs. Uh, I do see this person wondering if you have other possibilities, if it's possible that you've moved on, it's too late to come back around. Someone's changed how they feel about marriage commitment. I think you've got a person who's making up their mind. They want you uh, in a big way, but you're in that queen of wands. You know. <laughs> Is there a future here? Uh, is this going to move towards commitment and marriage? You want the truth because you will take off in another direction. Uh, you have the power. When you have the Empress, you have the power. You're the one with the power here, especially when the Queen of Swords is also here. And the Queen of Pentacles. Or Queen of Wands, Empress, Chariot, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're pretty powerful. You've got your power back. So I feel, yeah, maybe that's what happened here. On and off relationships. You had a lot of baggage. You're releasing it. You're now getting your power back. I feel you're ready. I think you're ready to have some passion and love in your life. I don't think there's not much that's going to scare you this year. You're taking a whole different approach to your love life. Anyone who comes in, you're going to look at it from every angle. You've gone within. You're... You, You've definitely taken a little pause here, and I think you're ready to come out of this. Uh, if you've been in hermit mode, you're coming out of it. It's time. So let's grab some outcome cards. I see really positive energy. It's up to you, though. Like, whoever comes in, I don't think you're in a panic. Uh, I do see people coming in to give you attention. You've got lots of options. You're weighing the pros and the cons. You're, wait you're looking for someone who's just right. You know, that's that energy of somebody coming in right, somebody who's balanced, right here in the middle. It's going to happen. I don't think you're going to have to go too far into the new year. I say the middle of the year. Could be in the middle of uh, next month, middle of Aquarius season. Yeah, yeah, there's love here. Someone loves you. They want to move forward. I feel there's a bond, a connection going to form between. Something is blossoming between you and someone. Look at that. Yeah, you're going to have your love life this year. It's all up to you. Like you, you're going to pick that perfect person. You're not settling this year, Pisces. Way to go. Keep those options open till the right. Even if someone comes in and you're in, you know, you're not clear how you feel or they're not. There may be some obstacles to overcome. There is going to be competition. So you may decide to just stay in control of your love life. Keep your emotions out of it. Keep your options open till the right things evolve the way you need them to be. Okay. You may have lots of options and you're waiting for a particular person. Could very well be this person here. 
Yeah, so you're going to break free of some chains here. Yeah, this is breaking free, breaking patterns, habits, traditions, beliefs, the way you conduct yourself. Could be the person coming towards you. I see healing, purging, releasing. That's where we're at this year. Yep, letting things flow naturally. Beautiful, a whole new cycle, letting things flow, not trying to control it, just going with it. Yeah, there is some love to be shared. You're going to get on the same page with somebody. Wow, this is about giving and receiving. Lovely energy, guys. Yeah, so somebody, this is about giving and receiving. Someone's thinking about that. Wondering if you'll reciprocate, if you feel the same, if it's someone that you dated and things didn't go anywhere. Because it looks like it just started and it stopped very quick. This person wasn't focused on you the way they should have. They know it. And then you got this other beautiful person here. Wow. Yeah, I see breaking free of chains, habits, healing, releasing, uh, letting go of old relationship baggage to be able to move towards somebody that you're that is just right, that balances you out, letting it flow, sharing the love, being able to reciprocate, see that crack in the heart that's healing, all right? I see a very beautiful healing. Your heart is going to heal. Whoever comes towards you is going to help heal your heart. And uh, you both may heal each other. You may just be such a good fit. See, there's balance between you and this person. You see that? Balancing out the heart chakra, balancing your thoughts, healing, releasing, giving and receiving. Again, sex movement. So beautiful energy. Wish you the best, Pisces. All right, stay focused. Concentrate on the money. I feel like it's coming after you. I don't think you need to chase anything this year. Build up that bank account. <laughs> Keep those options open. This person, when they're ready to come in, they will. You'll know who it is. You're getting something you want this year, but you're careful what you wish for. That's why you're going to keep your options open. You're not going to just pour your heart out and fall in love. You have the power to control this, okay? Take care. Bye for now.